game day. Running fire, baby. Warum bist du hier? Weil es einfach fantastischer Sport ist. Go you tulips in a twist. Hanna boss like communist. No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed. But on that Monday, think you got the. Hey! Just. Go you tulips in a twist. This is definitely the future of American football in Europe. All right, we just got off the bus here in Duisburg. That's where the Rhine Fire play. And I'm coming into the stadium for the first time. And this is, this is legit. Now this is a stadium. This is definitely the future of American football in Europe. Obviously this is one of the biggest stadiums here in the European League of Football. Ryan Fire have a huge following. They're kind of like the prototype of what American football in Europe could and I believe will be. It'll be really cool to play here today. So they play here in the stadium. It's called Schauensland Ryzen. This is, I think, the home of a, probably a second league soccer team. Maybe I'll ask uh, these mascots over here. Uh, Entschuldigung, welches Stadion ist es? MSV. MSV ist a, a zweite Liga Fußball. Dritte. Dritte. Third league stadium and it's the nicest stadium we got in the European League of Football. Wie heißt du? Ingo. Ingo the Flamingo und Kata. Kata das was? Das Kata is a tier. Oh, you're a cat. No, you're not a cat. You're a raccoon. What a... Welche tiere bist du? Oh, a lemur. He's a lemur. Okay, so we got a lemur and we got a flamingo. These are the official mascots of the Rhine Fire. So just for a little reference, this is an above average locker room for an away game. In the States, obviously, this is pretty below average, but here, this is a, it's a pretty nice. Is this the nicest stadium you've ever played in? Of course, of course. Yeah? It's, it's awesome. How does it feel? It's great. Great to be here. How about you, buddy? Uh, I played in a bigger stadium. Uh, for the German ball? German ball, yeah. Frankfurt. Ein Eintracht? Yeah, Eintracht Frankfurt. Yes. Yes. Ciao. Ciao. What's, What's your name? Remy? Remy? Yeah. Silas. Silas. Nice to meet you, sir. What's your name? Eric. Eric. I'm Eustace, bro. Nice to meet you. Eustace. Eustace. Nice to meet you. You're number seven, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a defensive player? No, safety. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great, perfect. You was a Baylor, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Like, what happened? He's the dude who <laughs> the whole GFF yeah, for yeah. three years. <laughs> So I just got a chance to talk to a few of the players from the Ryan Fire and even though this is one of the top teams here in Europe, the guys still all have the same lives as every other player on Europe. So the guys have normal jobs and then this is a part-time thing for most of the players. These are some of the things that it kind of make it very difficult for the sport to grow because these players aren't professional. They can't spend all their time practicing, rehabbing. Um, doing strength and conditioning. They have full-time jobs and then they have to come and practice. And so those are some of the things that are gonna have to catch up even if a lot of money comes into the league, even if a lot of marketing comes into the league, even if there's a lot of fans. I'm gonna try to see if I can't head outside of the stadium and talk to some of the fans and see what they think about football in Germany. It's a rainy day, so you're gonna get less people, but from what I hear, the Rhine Fire have usually a pretty big crowd. Then we got people who are dressed up, wearing the jerseys, painting their faces. This is a lot like American football in the US. So I'm gonna actually ask these guys if they'll do an interview. Can you sign progress to Yeah. Have you half English? Oh. Deutsch, okay. Warum bist du hier? Warum? Weil ich unser Fan da sein sein möchte und möchte unsere Mannschaft unterstützen. Rhein Fire. Was denkst du über American football in Deutschland? Es wird langsam, es wird immer mehr. Ich hoffe, dass noch mehr wird, dass noch mehr Leute dazukommen, weil es einfach fantastischer Sport ist. Rheinfeier ist in den 90er Jahren gegründet worden. Ich komme selber aus äh, Düsseldorf und in Düsseldorfer Mannschaft muss man Düsseldorf unterstützen. Dankeschön. Bitteschön. Ciao. Hallo zusammen. Hallo. 
This team, this stadium, this atmosphere reminds me a lot of my time playing in Frankfurt. There's still a really big fan base that's existing in Germany going all the way back to NFL Europe. And I think this league, the ELF, is kind of reviving those fans. There's a lot of fans from around Europe who want to see really good American football just up until recently hasn't really existed. Here in the locker room before the Ryan Fire game. Redemption You know, here's a dilemma. If I don't drink a ton of Gatorades or these drinks or water, I will cramp in a football game. If I do drink all of that, then I have to pee like every three minutes. And that includes being on the field. So sometimes I have to pee on the field, on the sidelines. Uh, in Barcelona, I peed like five times on the sideline. Behind the scenes of some of the small dilemmas in football that nobody talks about. Into the tunnel we go. European League of Football. This is what American football could be like. It will be like in 10 years. Today, let's put out the fucking fire! It's a play on words because they're called the Ryan Fire.
feelings, dress and appearances. Feeling more solid about who the man in the mirror is. Police for high school to speak about to connect with strangers. Painting the page with the language, but off the mic, I barely speak it all. I seldom see a flaw, bitch, I need it all. Shook by the way life is lately. I feel the earth pirouette. I'm dazed like I'm seeing stars. Got them all on the wave. It's more than just words to a page. Just feel like I'm hosting a reading long, but I speak in tongues. No translation, I'm out the bottle. I'm grieving, leaving the beat with the CPR. Disconnected, I feel the pressure. I need acceptance from the crevice. Well, all my homies on something special. The subtle flexing, still they hella selfish. Chasing a dad, but it's good. They don't need the Franklins to keep it 100. I'm seeing shit down the barrel. I named that gun right America. Armed with the ink that I'm flaring up in my element. We're losing brothers to push. We need protection, cause real niggas is rare enough. We write the narrative, I conquer that feet alone. Got the needle jumping like bungee, I'm in the field like I'm hunting, the work is dope off the burner, I'm calculated, I'm talking numbers, pray for longevity, sent to somebody's deed, broke it down as my therapy, yeah. Put me this one, I'm a broke dog. Uh, what's up, Vlog? Living legend. What's up? So, we got beat pretty bad. But here's the thing. I know that this is a really lopsided game. I know that the league can be pretty lopsided. This guy's. What's up, There's a momentum board. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're saying. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game yesterday? It was fun. You know, at the end of the day, it's a game for me, and if I'm not having fun, I don't want to do it. And even though we got absolutely wrecked, I still had fun, and it was really cool to experience such a big environment. To see that as a, just a normal game for a team was really hopeful for me for the future of the sport. There is a big gap between some of the teams, but you got to start somewhere. So I'm happy to be out here and um, I'm happy to see the sport grow. What makes Silas such a special person is his, uh, his outlook on life. Just spent the last hour eating breakfast with a good friend of mine, Jadrian, and his friend Max, right? Getting to talk a lot about the future of the sport in Europe, and I'm really, really excited. Jadrian has shared with me a ton of stuff that he's seen from his perspective that I have never seen. Just a great time to connect and talk about shared experiences. It's been a, a great time. That's all. Guardian to say, bro? Go Ryan Fire, baby. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs>